Hello and welcome to our health class. Reproductive health is what we're talking about today. And I want to be sure that by the end of this class, you would have a good understanding about what reproductive health is and you should be able to list family planning methods. What is reproductive health? Reproductive health is defined as a state of physical, mental, and social well-being, and not just mere absence of disease or infirmity in all matters related to the reproductive system and its functions. So it has to do with a total well-being of your reproductive system. Reproductive health or sexual health addresses the reproductive processes, functions, and systems at all stages of life in both the male and the females. So as we go on, you get to see what reproductive health covers. So here are the components of reproductive health. First, we have adolescent health. Adolescent health has to do with early pregnancy and parenting issues, difficulty assessing contraception and safe abortions, lack of health care access, and high rate of HIV and sexually transmitted infections, and also mental health. So these are what covers adolescent health. For you to have good health as an adolescent, you, your, your emphasis has to cover these areas of adolescent health. We also have maternal health. 99% of maternal death occurs in developing countries. So in other, in other words, for a woman to survive childbirth, she must have a good social status, economic status, access to health care, where she lives in cultural norms. All these factors are huge contributors to what determines maternal health of a woman. Also, we look at abortion. Abortion is the termination or initiation of termination of pregnancy before reaching viability. So in simple terms, abortion is that termination is a way in which a woman terminates pregnancy. There are several forms of abortion, but we're going to look at just quick um, two, two methods here quickly. The first one talks about surgical abortion. Surgical abortion involves inserting a speculum into the woman's vagina. While medical abortion requires women to, a woman to take pills at separate times, in order to empty the uterus. Several processes usually follow taking of the pills, including dilation and flushing of the womb. We can also look at sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are infections that have significant likelihood of transmission between humans by means of sexual activity. So these are the diseases that spread by virtue of sexual intercourse. And it's broad. There are a number of them. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, hepatitis B virus, hep simplex virus type 2, HIV, and so on and so forth. The list goes on and on and on. These are still part of reproductive health. So you have to understand this. You have to understand it. It is very important. And finally, we will look at family planning. Family planning is one major aspect of reproductive health. And is actually defined as preventing unwanted pregnancy by safe methods of prevention. This usually, this method is actually used by married couples. And there are several ways in which family planning is being executed.
two major ways are the natural method and the artificial method. Under the natural method, we have abstinence, withdrawal, calendar method, so on and so forth. While the artificial method covers barrier method, diaphragm method, the condom method, that is the use of condoms. We have the intrauterine devices, hormonal and surgical method. You can take up all the materials for broader reading, or broader for broader understanding on reproductive health. So in summary, reproductive health is defined as that state of physical, mental and social well-being and not just the absence of diseases or infirmities. Also, adolescent health creates a major global burden and has a great deal of additional and diverse complications compared to adult reproductive health. So it's important that you pay attention to your adolescent health. Look at the factors that we discussed, look at the factors and deal with them decisively. STIs are infections that have significant likelihood of transmission between humans by means of sexual activity. So avoid sex by all means. That is the most, the most effective method of preventing STIs when you're not married. And finally, we understand that family planning is preventing unwanted pregnancy by safe methods of prevention. These methods are usually discussed between partners so that they can determine the best method that is suitable for both of them with the help of a medical practitioner. I want to believe that you've learned a few things regarding reproductive health. So here uh, your home exercises for you to take a look at what is reproductive health mention two types of abortion give two methods of family planning mention five examples of STIs we've covered these in this class and I hope to see you in the next class